Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a while. Uh, so today I'm going to be unboxing the the regular 30th anniversary PlayStation controller. Uh, obviously there's the uh, the Pro, the DualSense Edge, but we're not going to be unboxing that. But that's more for the collection. Uh, the main reason why I bought this controller was because I mean, number one, it looks nice, it's beautiful. But number two, um, as many of you guys experienced this, especially have, owning a PS5, the controllers just give out. Um, I've had my controller since day one. Uh, uh, whenever I originally bought it, it was working fine. And then um, I traveled with it. And then all of a sudden, it started. Uh, uh, the controller started drifting. I contacted the support. This was a year before the warranty expired. Because, uh, you know, you have a year until it expires uh, while you're un covered under warranty. And um, they're like, yeah, do this uh, certain method, it'll be fixed. It got fixed, and then just my luck, I, like the f the week after my warranty expired, the controller started uh, drifting, whether it be the right stick or the left stick, and it gets very frustrating in games. And to be honest, I told myself, I'm like, you know what, I'll get a brand new controller when the time comes in, you know, obviously a year passed, two years passed, I didn't get a new controller. And uh, I'm like, okay, you know what, I'll get a uh, DualSense Edge controller. Um, uh, obviously not that I'm not gonna pay 200 bucks for that but you know maybe on like Facebook market or something maybe someone got it as a gift and they don't want it you know especially around Black Friday Christmas time uh, but you know I never budged for it and then all of a sudden PlayStation releases these I'm like you know what the colorway is amazing it's not the PS2 one of course I'm a huge PS2 guy that's probably my favorite console of all time of all time but uh, the PS1 colorway uh, nevertheless is really amazing so uh, uh the main reason why I'm recording this is because since it is a limited edition controller, I um, I want to record it so just to show you guys like how the unboxing experience is like. And also just in case if anything is wrong with the controller, at least I have proof to show that, hey, maybe, uh, you know, it, it came out of it came out of the box like this. So uh, without further ado, I'm not going to be unboxing the um, DualSense uh, Edge controller, but uh the packaging is bigger i mean this is the side the packaging is better so as you guys see here it's um uh, it's bigger and it comes with um the usb braided cable not the ps1 uh, the cool looking usb one unfortunately not i wish it comes with uh two high dome caps low two low uh, dome caps uh the standard ones of course the controller itself half dome back buttons two uh lever back buttons connector housing carrying case and printed material so essentially what the regular dual sense edge comes like and this is how it looks like in the back uh, and then it comes with the playstation like a uh, warranty sticker which is really cool and then this uh also uh, made in china i was gonna i, I don't want to show the thing i just realized the barcode might be the thing it might be different for everyone so uh let me unbox this so uh got my trusty knife and to be honest Regardless if, of if my controller was drifting or not, I'm talking about the regular one. Uh, I always wanted a second controller just in case. So I'm going to carefully, um, I guess, uh, rip this. We have no choice, right? Okay. And then this tape. I, I don't want to damage the box. I, I'm a type of person where I kind of collect the boxes too. So, shoot, I don't want to damage. Huh? Did I get it? I think I got it. Okay, cool. Always gotta have an iPhone, on you guys. Okay, so I guess whenever you unbox it, oh, this is cool. It's like a, it's a tribute to all the classic PlayStations, whether it be the PS2, the Vita, the PSP disc, the PS4 controller, PS1 controller before the uh, uh, DualShock. The PS3 Super Slim, uh, PS5 controller. Uh, I think this is the PS TV. This is the portal. This is the fat PS3. Uh, probably the best one, even though I had so many problems. PS4. Um, you guys get the gist. And opening on this side, it's the same thing. And then, so the packaging is kind of, it's kind of cool. I don't want to damage it, like I said. Slowly taking it out of the box. PlayStation 30th anniversary. I remember whenever the uh, PS4 25th anniversary came out, or 20th, it was very nice, but this one, it comes like this. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is on the side, it does say um, it comes with controller and the printed materials. 
So I guess it doesn't even come with the wiring, which is kind of stupid, but uh, there's the printed uh, materials, the I guess the instructions of the controller. Hefty. You know, it's like they include this, but they haven't put a wire. And the, these are empty too, for proof. Anyways, you guys get the gist. Let me put that to the side. Put the box right here. And moment of truth, the PS5 controller. Wow, this is this is beautiful. Um, to be honest, it's a bit more gray than um, I expected. It's a lot more. It has a matte finish to it, but it's very nice. And even this, the printing on this is very nice too. This right here. Let's see if it lights up. It lights up too. I'm praying. I'm hoping that this one doesn't drift. And on the back too, it says PlayStation 30th anniversary. So this is truly a beautiful controller. My normal PS5 controller served me well, um, but I think this is going to be the the main controller I start using from now on. And then, you know, if any guests come over or whatever, uh, I'll give them the original one. But I feel, I, this feels a lot more lighter. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just a placebo, um, but it's definitely a lighter controller. Um, you know, unfortunately, I'm not going to be opening the Pro controller, but still, nevertheless, this is a beautiful controller uh ps1 colorway is amazing like i said playstation if if you ever watch this video sony if you ever watch this video uh we're looking for a ps2 uh colorway and it comes in this packaging too i'm probably not gonna throw it away if i'm being honest i'm just gonna let me just put it back in um yeah um i'm gonna i'm probably gonna be posting this on youtube just so you know i could have it uh for a long time and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and uh until next time oh yeah one last thing i forgot to mention um a side-by-side -side comparison to this one versus this is that the dualsense edge controller seems to be a lot more glossy especially on this plastic underneath the plastic carriage part and um obviously as the as the uh um the thumbstick uh button things so you could easily remove them and interchange them and then the touchpad of course is uh embroidered uh differently and then the back too i believe is different this one this one give me one second let me see i don't know if it has the playstation stuff on the back but um yeah those are some differences i forgot to mention and then obviously the on the back pedals for the pro or the dual sense edge um yeah.